We begin the breaking news that we've been following today. Another, yet another mass shooting. Tony and I were sitting right here Just not a week too ago, long yeah. ago, days ago, reporting on a mass shooting in this country. Police say a shooter killed at least four people at a bank building in downtown Louisville. Yeah, authorities also say that eight others, including two police officers, are wounded, and the suspected shooter. Also dead on the scene, authorities say he appears to have been a former employee of the bank and either died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound or was shot by police. Now, some of the details in that report have changed. There were a total of nine individuals who were injured, including two police officers who exchanged gunfire with the shooter. Four individuals were killed by the shooter and the shooter is now also dead after exchanging fire with the police. Now the shooting happened in downtown Louisville, Kentucky at a bank that the gunman had been working at. And all four victims happened to be employees of that bank. Now it was National Bank on Main Street. And the nine people who have been hospitalized, as I said earlier, included two cops. One of the cops had rushed in as the shooting was taking place and he was shot in the head. But he is currently receiving brain surgery at the U at a hospital. He is in critical condition. Um, now, the four victims I wanted to just quickly mention by name. Uh, the police have identified them as Tommy Elliott, 63, Jim Tut, 64, Josh Barrick, 40, and Juliana Farmer, 45. Again, all employees at the bank. Now, the story is still developing, and so we'll fill you in as we learn more about it. Uh, the shooter was a man named Connor Sturgeon, uh, who, according to his LinkedIn profile, again, had worked at that bank uh, since 2021, CNN has reported that he had gotten word that he was gonna get fired and that's potentially a motive. Although I wanna be clear that that has not been confirmed and it's really, really important to know that. But you know, he apparently got word that he was gonna be fired soon and to do with that information what you will. I do wanna just quickly go to Governor Andy Bashir's reaction to this because he disclosed something during the press conference that is both heartbreaking and telling because this could be any one of us. I have a very close friend that didn't make it today. And I have another close friend who didn't either and one who's at the hospital that I hope is, is gonna make it through. So when we talk about praying, I hope people will. Our bodies and our minds are not meant to go through these types of tragedies. Yeah, our bodies and minds are not meant to go through these types of tragedies, but we do on a regular basis. And I don't know what to say in response to this mass shooting that I haven't already said in response to the, I don't know, hundreds of other mass shootings that we've talked about on the show over the years that I've been here. Yeah, I might say something a little controversial. Um, so, but first, I want to clarify. Uh, he, luckily, the second friend he was wrong about, mm -hmm. and his second friend is fine. But the, his very close friend, apparently, one of the dead. Tommy uh, Elliott uh, is yeah. his close friend who passed. Yes. Yeah. So um, here, here's the maybe controversy. I don't really care why they're doing it. Um, so we've now covered hundreds of mass shootings, mm -hmm. right? And so, oh, that guy is a white supremacist. Oh, that guy is a Muslim fundamentalist. That guy is trans. That guy was mad about office workers. That guy was just randomly crazy and hated Chinese dancers. I don't, whatever, right? There's one common theme. It's not their motivation at all. It's the AR-15. It's the assault weapon. The assault weapon that kills people very, very easily, kills a lot of people quickly. Because that's what it's designed to do. It's a weapon of war, it's used in war. It has no purpose in a civilian life at all. That's why Republicans say absurd things like, "Oh, well, we use it to shoot feral hogs. No, you don't, no, you don't. And, and by the way, we're allowing all of our kids to be murdered because you wanna shoot feral hogs? That's your best argument? And then Republicans, they don't even have a proposal. Oh, less doors, ban trans people. Like weirdo random things that make no sense would never solve the problem. But the left has a proposal, the left's proposal is 
ban assault weapons. And you know what happens in countries that have banned assault weapons? They have almost no mass shootings. Yeah. Gee, I wonder if it's the doors and the feral hogs or if it's the assault weapons. I wanna go to graphic five here because it's a, it's a really good way to see how much of a role assault weapons, AR-15s have played in mass shootings in recent years. So as you can see, handgun use related to these mass shootings was really the major, like that was the weapon of choice until there were looser laws pertaining to assault weapons. Well, assault weapons, we used to have a ban on them. That's why you didn't have that's as right. many shootings. So that's and it why didn't kill as many people. That's why you see that by the time we get to 2020, the majority of mass shootings are carried out with AR-15s. So I wanted to just give you that data to kind of buttress Jenks point and reinforce his point because he makes a good one there. That is a potential solution, but of course there's no real conversation about it. I, sorry, let me just jump in real quick again. Number one, 60% of the American people wanna ban assault weapons. In a democracy, we should get that overnight. But nope, Republicans will block it because they believe that the most extreme part of their base and their donors should control all of our politics and they don't give a damn about what the rest of us think. Yes, there are shootings still even when there were no assault weapons, but a lot less people died. So let's, you don't have to solve everything overnight. You could just do logical things as a first step. There's no question that the countries that have banned assault weapons don't have mass shootings like we do. It's a fact, you wanna ignore that fact, that's up to you. But there's absolutely no question as to what's causing this level of carnage. Now, a few other things I wanted to quickly mention in regard to the gun laws in Kentucky. So the state apparently passed a law in 2019 that removed the provisions that mandated state gun owners pass a background check if they were going to conceal carry their weapon. Under the law, most adults over 21 can purchase and carry a firearm and take them to most places in the state without any license. This is a good time to mention that the gunman in this case was a 23 year old. So he could easily purchase a gun without a background check in the state of Kentucky with no issues. Aside from federal laws that prohibit gun purchases by people with convicted felonies, there are no Kentucky laws that prohibit gun purchases to state residents who have mental health disorders, violent misdemeanor convictions, domestic abuse related restraining orders, or anyone with substance abuse disorders. So from what we've read so far, it could change as I mentioned the stories developing, but based on preliminary reporting, it does not appear that the shooter had some criminal record that would have you know, raised some sort of red flag. But nonetheless, I mean, considering how lax the gun laws are in states like Kentucky, it's understandable how someone like this 23 year old would get his hands on an AR-15. Final thing I wanted to go to is an interesting argument made on Fox News of all places. One of their contributors came on. And made an argument that you're not likely to hear on Fox News. So let's hear from Ted Williams, who's a former police officer. There is information out there that it's not been confirmed by me, Neil, or Fox News, from what I understand, that this shooter or had phoned a friend and said that he was suicidal and that he was going to shoot up a bank. If that is the truth, then I think that we need to again look at what is going on in our society. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Just two weeks ago, I stood in front of a camera where you had some kids, some babies shot in Nashville, Tennessee with a person who, by the way, had an AR of 15. I am sick and tired of standing in front of a camera. Neil, you and I have been on, on numerous occasions where people, young people have lost their lives. Four people left home this morning and four people are not coming home tonight. That is something that we need to take into consideration. And when the governor says we need, well, we shouldn't talk about uh, certain things now, well, then I have to disagree with the government. We have to talk about guns. AR-15 are killing our babies and our citizens in this country. And we've got to do something about it. 
strong message on Fox News of all places. Cenk, uh, he seems yeah. to be saying exactly what you're saying on the show today. Yeah, 100%. So look, I was in a fair in Kentucky a couple of years back. And uh, they were selling assault weapons right in the middle of the fair, right? And so anybody could go up and buy it. Uh, I didn't try to buy one, so I don't know if they were gonna do any kind of check, but it's a fair, they weren't gonna do a check, they don't have to do a check. Uh, so by the way, that person could buy that gun, put the magazine in, and then shoot everyone at the fair and kill like 20 people easily, right? So it's a weapon of war, no other country allows it. We're idiots for allowing it. We're allowing ourselves to be murdered because a couple of Right wingers think it's fun to shoot AR 15s. They have fun in their backyard or wherever they're doing. And so, since they basically masturbate to that, we're saying, oh, yeah, go ahead, kill us all. Kill us all because you have a fun little hobby that you, you know, pleasure yourself to. It's madness, it's insanity. Look, it's so easy to prove. Another weapon of war is an RPG, you know, the shoulder fired missiles. Idiot right wingers like Tim Pool say, oh, yeah, that should be legal too. Everybody should be, he literally said everybody should be allowed to have nukes. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But think about it, the RPG. I mean, look, I don't want to put thoughts in their head because they'll probably ask for it. And the Republicans will probably give it to them. They'll probably legalize it. And they'll probably go open carry, open carry. So what, we're gonna just shoot RPGs into each other's freaking houses and schools and hospitals and center and go, whoa, 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 freedom man. The second amendment said that RPGs should be constitutional. No, it didn't, you're making that up. In the second amendment it says, a, a well regulated militia being necessary. You're not in a militia, you're not well regulated. Uh, and these the militias did not have RPGs or AR-15s. You guys are out of your minds. So okay, but you know what's gonna happen? The next shooting is gonna be in your neighborhood. And I hate it, I don't want it, I wanna protect you. I wanna protect your kids, your right wing and left wing, I don't care. I wanna protect you, but they say nope. Nope, but we should all be able to get tanks, man. Tanks don't kill people, people kill people. No, tanks are a more efficient way of killing people. So are nukes and so are assault weapons. These are obvious facts, but we have to deal with gun manufacturers, corrupt politicians, and local yokels going around. Oh yeah, oh your kids are dead, I don't care. I don't care, it's interfering with my fun a little bit. Okay, that's the kind of monster you are. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.